And that's it for the state's case against Oscar Pistorius. On day 15 of his trial in the North Gauteng High Court, the state wrapped up its case against Oscar Pistorius, calling all the witnesses it intended to call. Now, if you think that means the case is going to have a speedy close now, you may be disappointed to know that what is going to happen is Barry Roo is going to call some of the state's witnesses that weren't called to the stand to cross-examine them. In addition, Barry Roo may call some defense witnesses to the stand to try and bolster Oscar Pistorius's case. The day started off with Captain Moller on the stand again. Remember, he's the Hawks' cell phone expert, and what he did was he showed some of the conversations that happened over WhatsApp between Oscar and Reva. Now, during day 14 of the trial, Harry Nell had shown that a few of these messages, about 10% of them, were rather hostile, that Oscar and Reva were fighting and weren't in a loving relationship. What Barry Rue did today under his cross-examination was show that actually most of those images were very pleasant. They were in a loving relationship. He even went so far as to show some CCTV footage from an engine garage, it seemed, where Oscar and Reva were doing some shopping and they were affectionate and exchanging hugs and kisses. Another witness was called after Muller. It was Warrant Officer Adrian Moritz. He was literally on the stand just for a few minutes. Now, this particular warrant officer is in charge of reporting all the crimes that happen in the area that Oscar Pistorius lives in. And he was on the stand to show that very few incidents of violent crime happen in that area. In fact, there were three incidents in the security complex and they all involved sort of petty theft. Nothing to the extent that Oscar Pistorius was concerned about when he says he thought Rivas Dienkamp was an intruder. Now, although he was on the stand for just a few minutes, he really bolsters the state's case by proving that Oscar Pistorius was paranoid and was really gun happy. The day ended where Colonel Vermeulen was brought back onto the stand by Barry Rue. Now, if that name sounds familiar to you, he was the man who did the analysis on the door and the cricket bat. Barry Rue was unhappy with his testimony and hauled him back over the coals about what he said. Court adjourned at the end of day 15, ready to be picked up on Friday for day 16.